In the 14th century, the Moroccan world traveler Ibn Battuta traveled all his way through Asia. During one of his travels, he said that traveling leaves you speechless and then turns you into a storyteller. This is my story of Vietnam. Stretched along nearly 3,500 kilometers of coastline, Vietnam is home to as many as 93 million inhabitants. Of this empire that has known unity only since 1976, the northern city Hanoi is the capital. Housing over a thousand buses and approximately three and a half million motorbikes, Hanoi seems to be an organized chaos where daily life takes place on the streets. Every product has its own street. This means you can run into a street filled with silk, one filled with tin merchandise or full of jewelry. In the midst of these specialized streets, street food is everywhere. So as you can hear, if you have a taste for travel, Hanoi will definitely not disappoint. Only two hours eastward of Hanoi, you can find Halong Bay. As the name already suggests, Halong Bay is a bay consisting of 1969 limestone islands. As one of the new seven world wonders and a part of the UNESCO World Heritage List, it should not come as a surprise that Halong Bay is stunningly beautiful. In Vietnamese, the name Halong means descending from dragons, and legend says Halong Bay was formed from giant emeralds dropped by dragons to defend Vietnam in an ancient war. When visiting Halong Bay, make sure to book yourself a tour to one of the remote islands. For example, the castaway tour from Hanoi Backpackers Hostel. So if you are Vietnam bound, do not miss out on this pearl of nature. The next stop of our journey through Vietnam is Hoi An, based in central Vietnam. Hoi An is best known for its handicraft. The streets are filled with handmade lanterns that bring the city its warm and welcoming atmosphere. Besides that, nearly 400 tailors reside in Hoi An, so almost every tourist leaves the city with a tailored piece of clothing. More into food, there are plenty of restaurants and cooking schools offering courses that turn you into a professional Vietnamese chef. But more on that in one of my upcoming videos. So when you're traveling Vietnam, don't miss out on this delightful town. So by now I have taken you past some of my favorite highlights of Vietnam. Of course, there should remain places left for you to discover, so the rest of the country I'll leave to your wanderlust. And one last piece of advice, no one should return from Asia without some last moments of island time. Right there, when I